This is what I called Winter Wonderland. I'm in Scotland and Loch Tulla again. If you remember, three years ago I was here, but there was no snow at all. Now, today it's a different story. We have lots of snow covered peaks around the loch, and the loch is frozen. And uh, the island behind me, if you see that little island with trees, that is basically the main interest. What I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around the area and try to find a nice composition including the island and maybe the snowy peaks in the background. The ground is frozen solid, although I don't have to forget that this is a bog. So, it's producing heat and I have to be careful where exactly I step. I don't want to sink into the bog. I think my first shot I'm going to take from this spot because it's just beautiful and uh, you can see the lake, the snow on the lake, the ice, the snowy peaks in the background and I don't think I'm going to need a tripod here. There's loads of light today so probably I'm going to go handheld and uh, I also, if I turn around, you can see the sun is over there. So I'm going to try to take some backlit photos as well, because this is really a, this is really a winter, wonder, winter wonderland. Now I'm at the middle of Ranokmur, at Loch, I don't know how to pronounce its name. Beautiful, again, winter wonderland, snow covered peaks, ground is again frozen solid, easy to walk on. What else would you wish here? Basically, I'm like a kid in a toy shop. I don't know where to look, I don't know what to shoot, the possibilities are endless here. 
it's really really beautiful today to start with I think I'm gonna take a handheld shot of these frozen rocks in the loch and uh, hill in the background I just looks really nice and kind of uh, compensate the middle of the frame I also took a couple of vertical images which I'm gonna stitch together at home and uh, we'll see which one turns out better the pano or the normal wide shot As you can see the blizzard has arrived from nowhere within five minutes from nowhere it's just coming down it's beautiful but it make, makes photography impossible at the moment so I think I'm gonna walk back to the car <laughs> and wait a bit right it's not that strong now and uh, as I was walking back to the car park I came up to the highest elevation point of this area and uh, look at this business here I can't leave this here without taking a couple of vertical shots for the panoramic It's unbelievable changing minute by minute now the Sun came out and some clouds uh, crept over the hill and again it's just magical this light I can't get enough of it I try to slow down now and capture some detail because this side light is magical and uh, first uh, here I think I'm gonna use this little stream which coming and leading to the mountains in the background that's gonna be my first composition and then I'm gonna try to just grab some details from the landscape
20 minutes and the weather has changed again completely. Clouds came in and uh, covering fully the mountains in the background as you can see. Started to snow again so the light has become quite flat. I think that's gonna be it for me today and I'm gonna go back to my accommodation and have my well-deserved rest after driving eight hours and doing photography for two and a half hours. See you tomorrow.